It is Monday morning and exceedingly bright in here, but it's always exceedingly bright in here. What's up, guys? I am Attack Slug. This is my last play of the 2K16, my career, and that might be the first time I've ever actually said, What's up, guys? That fucking generic ass YouTube thing. Uh, I prefer to go, What's up, internet? But, you know, it's early, it's Monday, and we're gonna fight Randy Orton, who is the number one contender. To Brock Lesnar's uh, WWE title, and Brock Le Lesnar's fighting Daniel Bryan, and that's appropriate because the only news story worth talking about today is the fact that Daniel Bryan has A, cut his hair and trimmed his beard, but B, that he will apparently be appearing on Monday Night Raw this evening, today, Monday, what's today, uh, the 8th of February, in Seattle. Now, obviously, you know, you want to have him in Seattle because it's that's, you know, near his hometown. And that makes sense. But the part that doesn't make sense is that he's been off TV, TV for so long, he's wrestled like three months in the past two years or some crazy ass shit like that. So, what are they doing with Daniel Bryan? Is he coming out to announce his retirement? Is he going to be a special guest referee at WrestleMania? Is he saying that he's coming back? Like, what... What is the game plan for d -Bry? Uh, the world needs to know. But meanwhile, I'm here fighting Randy Orton, and it's Monday morning, and my voice is not, you know, not where I'd like it to be, but uh, I can't necessarily say worse, but I can't necessarily say better, for those wondering. I feel like I'm just very, nope, nah, son. Ball game, Michael. Um, it's very monotone, and that's kind of been getting on my nerves lately, is that I'm not he not healing at a, a, at a at a rate that I would preferably be, you know, I'm, I'm not where I'd like to be. Anyway, yeah, so, Daniel Bryan, man, what a whirlwind since Mania 30 that that guy's been on. Holy shit. Uh, can he even, like, obviously he wants to wrestle, and he's been trying to get doctors to clear him for the longest time and it's like his he his doctor says yes and he had a third party doctor say yes the problem obviously being that WWE doctors say no you are too prone to concussions uh you are too prone to deal with that kind of shit Randy Orton DDT spiking it education um you are too prone to your concussion syndrome, whatever else. We don't want to bring you back on the off chance your brains get scrambled to mush and you kill your family. We can't be responsible for that again. It can't happen again. So, uh, understandably, they'd be a bit hesitant to bring him back. Uh, and he, it's like, I'm sure they've offered him roles as, you know, on-screen talent, manager, trainer. Uh, but that dude wants to wrestle because he likes wrestling. And, you know, when that's, that's, when that's your career and that's all you've been doing for, you know, X number of years, I can understand that. But when the doctors are saying, hey, you probably shouldn't be doing it anymore, like, I guess his problem is he'd be, he'd be fine wrestling in a bingo hall somewhere. Problem being, he is still currently under contract. And that is what prevents him from saying, going to New Japan, or going to Ring of Honor, or going to fucking TNA, or whatever. I'm sure Dixie Carter would would wet her pants at the prospect of being able to sign Daniel Bryan, because he just wants to wrestle. But, WWE is not about to let that happen. They're, they're not about to even consider letting that happen. What the fuck are you doing? What the hell was that, Ebenezer? I hit L1 to steal his fucking RKO, and he jumps out of the ring. Idiot. Idiot. Anyway, yeah, so... Eat it. Oh. Shouldn't have done that. RKO out of nowhere. Eat it. Um, yeah. So, it'll be very curious to see what... To see what Daniel Bryan has to say... Tonight on Raw from Seattle. I'm very, woo, very curious to see where that goes. Oh wait, I actually have, I have authority goals here. 
which is three three outside the ring grapples. So let's get that done. As as long as we're out here. Here's one. Pow driver to the outside. Solid concrete. I mean, there are mats and everything, but you know, still. Exposed steel, concrete. Damn you, Randy Orton. Massive injuries. That probably doesn't count. So we got two more. One, the bookend. He should be fine. And two, another pile driver. That man has a family. Damn it. Terrafunk. Eat it, ref. Don't count out Randy Orton. Pop! Right in his face. Who is counting now, referee? Who is counting now? Doesn't disqualify me. Just, you know, all oh, fine. It's an accident that you punched me in the face. No big deal. That's fine. Whatever. Uh oh. I'm in trouble now, apparently, because Randy Orton has his comeback. Unfortunately, I have my signature. So, Randy Orton has no choice but to take another Grimm's Toy Show GTS to the face, get kicked in the face, and then get pinned. Pin him! Holy shit, I'm hitting circle. Circle! Fuck this game. God damn. And I just pinned the number one contender. Ha! Now, if that doesn't increase my rank, I don't even know what, what will. And that should have completed the authority goal, I'm pretty sure. Yep, sure did. Oh no, Renee Young, what do you want? Alright, continue giving face answers here. Continue giving face answers. Uh, I played the game. I've already heard this, so I'm just going to skip it. Back to you, Cole. You oh wait, as a top, top ten. That's me. I love my fans. Ha ha ha. It's all about the universe. It's an honor. An to be honor. Recognized by the WWE universe. I do this for them and no one else. They keep cheering for me, and I'm gonna take them to the top with me. That's how this goes. But I'm a heel right now. I'm totally a heel right now. Uh, trying to change it. There you have it. Back That's to you, Cole. Cool. Alright, let's attempt to tackle one more event for today. Running into week three of August. Heading to Raw. Uh, fighting Batista. Alright, that's something I haven't done in a while. Uh, that, you know. Five star match with Batista. That's kind of a tall order. Like, I don't hate Batista. Uh, but... I also don't, I don't understand that I'm still ranked 8, even though I beat Randy Orton, who's ranked 1. This game does not understand how numbers work, apparently. Uh, so, anyway, I guess I'm going to fight Batista. Alright, and it's the opening match. Come on, you would never put Batista curtain jerking on, on Raw in 2016, 20, 2017, whatever it is. Batista, apparently, who was offered uh, some kind of a role in WrestleMania and turned it down. But the door is still open for the Manimal to uh, do something at WrestleMania. But, you know, he's a big-time movie star now. He's, you know, following in The Rock's footsteps. But The Rock fucking comes back, goddammit. The Rock's like, oh, right, wrestling. Whereas Batista's like, oh, right, wrestling. Uh, a little bit of, bit of a difference in opinion there. And, and that's what happens when, obviously... The Rock grew up in a wrestling family, whereas uh, Batista did not. Uh, t t to my knowledge, Rock is third ge third generation, so that that certainly helps for an appreciation for the business. This business, um, really, fucking first thing you do is a headlock, Batista. Get out of the goddamn headlock! I hate that the CPU is so good at that. All right, eat it. Alumni, eat it, Sling Blade. Anyway, yeah, um, be very curious to see what happens on 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 Raw tonight. Even though even though Raw has kind of felt like it's been spinning its wheels a bit, uh, like I'll be curious to see if they you know continue to further this interaction between 
our truth and gold dust uh if that continues to be a, a, a weird backstage thing honestly i miss the fact that like i didn't care about the matches but i miss the fact that we're not getting any more backstage stardust and titus o'neill promos because those were fucking gold they were so good just those, those that like that clash of uh you know promo style was just fantastic and they're like hey Let's try and push Titus as a singles guy again. And that just doesn't work. Titus O'Neil is a great hot tag. You know, he's got a good look. And he can do some stuff. But he is not... A, a competent singles guy, he is not. And that's kind of, I, I guess, also the fear for Braun Strowman. Is that a competent singles guy, he, you know, is not. But they're saying he's getting better. Uh, supposedly. They're saying he's... What the fuck was that, Batista? They're saying he's getting better, supposedly, and uh, I, I guess we'll find out with whoever he happens to fight at WrestleMania. We don't know who that's going to be yet, but I guess we'll find out uh, for that for, for that stuff. Because apparently uh, he was going to fight Taker, and Taker was like, "Yeah, no, that's no. Come on now. It is the twilight twilight of his career. Don't waste one of his Mania matches on Braun Strowman of all people." Seriously, I would I would almost rather have him fight Bray Wyatt again because uh, at least this time perhaps he wouldn't fuck up his ankle hours before the show. All I'm saying. Whoa, rolling senton on the shoulders. What are you, Anderson? Kennedy? Kennedy. Batista to the top, the second rope. What is doing his best Bret Hart impression? The fuck, Batista. There we go. Eat it. Continue to eat it. The hell was he twitching for? Is he on the ground going up? Oh, oh, oh. Gut wrench. I haven't done a whole lot of ground moves lately, so... I, di I did change those. Alright, submissions. It's we're, we're on, what, episode 81 now, and have not done... Have not won a single match by submission, uh, because this submission system is garbage and I hate it. Hate it. Therefore, I just don't use it. Ebenezer is not a submission specialist by any stretch of the imagination. Pop, and then you run, and then you kick, and then he flops, and it looks pretty good. Now the authority goal here was a five-star match, and I don't have time for that. It's not. It's not. It's not that I couldn't do that. It's that. Oh, what? Well, maybe, maybe, perhaps we'll get there if he keeps actually reversing things. What the fuck is this ankle lock bullshit? What are you, Jack Swagger? So, uh, being that it is Monday and being that I was watching the, the Superb Owl, aka the Super Bowl, uh, last night, the, the one sporting event that I watch every year. Um, there was a point, I don't know, there, there was a point in that game where somebody on, uh, somebody, you see either a commercial or somebody on commentary in the game or something, somebody said too fast, and it gave me fl flashbacks of this game of Cole going, not today, too fast, like 8,000 times. Counter ref. Nope. Didn't think so. And that, now he, he can do his Batista bomb. The butt taster bomb. Uh, if we allow him to do so. I don't know. Just keep on hitting him with uh, moves. Slapping his ass. Slapping his ass. Referee, you are in the worst positions. You are terrible at your job. Seriously. And a bro kick. Nope, that wasn't a bro kick. That, that was not a bro kick. That was the opposite. It was a punch in the face. Bam Bam Salt. Oh, and he missed it. Oh, crap. What are you doing, Batista? Lana, you better help me out here. There we go. Turn around, Batista. Turn around, Batista. Turn around, Batista. Oh, hi. 
How you doing? Remember me? They call me Ebenezer. I'll make you queasy. Or something. Oh, what's... What? I... Mm, so mad about it. So mad about it. No stamina. No stamina. Ah. Uh, so mad about it. Like, I had the perfect moment for the freaking... Is that the, the, the Batista bite he's using? He's using his fucking... He, he used his submission hold. The Batista bite. Which I think is what that was called. Anyway, I was in the perfect position to steal his finisher and Batista bought him in the middle of the ring and hitting L1 made me leave the ring. I freaking hate it. What are you doing, Batista? Really? What? What? Again with the fucking rest holds. What does this look like? Alright. I got no stamina left. Like, whatsoever. I need to create some... What are you doing, Batista? Are you really gonna get yourself disqualified? Really? No. Not me. Mortal Kombat! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do! Alright, reverse Alabama Slamma onto the sledgehammer! There you go, ref. Take care of that shit. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs down for you, Batista. Thumbs down for you, Batista. Middle of the ring. Batista bomb. Boom. And then... We have defeated the Batista. Alrighty then. Didn't get our five stars, but you know, that would have taken another ten minutes or so of getting finishers and kicking out of stuff and all that good fun stuff. It's just kind of the length of the match at, at a certain point is when you get five stars. And uh, I don't always have. I got more videos to film today. So, still, respectful, perseverant, and bold. That one thing into aggressive is where we are failing. So if you could tell me, how do I not be aggressive? How do, I, how do I be disciplined? I would like to know. I would like to know. Cause I, I do know that as soon as you go face turn, you lose you know, your heel manager. That's fine. I, I have enough VC to buy a different manager. That's fine. That's not a problem. Um, uh, but I don't know how to change from one to the other. On that last thing. And I'm fighting, but Batista wants a rematch? Really? Uh, he was a foreign object. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that foreign object and hit him in the face with a fucking sledgehammer because I don't want to fight him again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is he even in the rankings? Is he even in the world title rankings? No, he is not. So, who cares? That'll be tomorrow. Look forward to me hitting him in the face with something tomorrow. Steel stairs or something, I don't know. I'm a tax slug. This has been my last play of the 2K16, my career. Stick around for more videos uh, each and every day right here on this channel. And I'm out.